What's up everybody, Sean Fruin here, and this is placing diffusers, or lining them up within ceiling grid, thanks to Dynamo and Revit. So as you can see, sometimes diffusers get placed, but they're kind of on the floor, and then of course they're not lined up. And we have to go through and do this manually, and that is no fun. No bueno. So you can imagine how long this would take going through all of them. So of course there's a better way now, thanks to AutoCAD and Dynamo. So let's say that again. And now let's jump in the script a little bit. So the first thing that unfortunately we do have to do, because it's not fully automation, is export some views. But we built this script to export um, our reflective ceiling plan views automatically. So what we're going to do is make a ceiling plan view for every level. And then we can make an export name, and this will be used later to line up our exports when we import them back in. And then of course we have a view template to go with that to make sure it looks like what we want and now we can export those views as you can see there on my desktop so now let's open up AutoCAD and import this drawing so once the drawing is imported you can very simply select it all and explode it now you can see we have all these individual lines and now we can actually access these lines with Dynamo after we import the linked model in. So there is no way to access these lines without doing this. I know it's silly. It seems like it should be a really easy problem, but it's not. So I was really excited to actually get this done. So now here's the script for placing diffusers. So our inputs are the linked model. That's where the ceilings are. We have to use a node here from this package. Let me put that in. So by Morse package, you're going to need this one. And I wasn't good at marking up my script, so let me type this in real quick for the next user, annotate. And then we're going to take in the air terminals and levels. So that's our inputs to the script. And here's kind of the first one I'm showing for the output. So as you can see, we found these individual squares or tiles. And you can see that center point on there, and you can see our imported drawings. So let's walk through the script a little bit. I'm going to hook this up to have some geometry that we can look at. And let's hide those original CAD lines, but remember those. And we'll hide this. So as you can see, so this is all the lines, um, kind of all the geometry that comes out. So what we did. is first you want to project those CAD lines onto, well first you want to filter down the ceilings, so that's what we did here, as you can see that one ceiling is missing because it was not the type of ceiling that has a grid system in it. Next task to be to get our CAD lines, we'll then group them by ceiling, but here it doesn't really matter, so that's that one ceiling left over, that's not in our selection of ceilings, there are ceilings left over. Now we want to get the surface of those ceilings. As you can see, these are more surfaces and not actually the ceilings. So we're able to get that bottom surface. So that's that thicker one, but that there's the actual surfaces. So now we have those, we want to project our CAD lines onto those. So that's what we did there. So pretty cool, those lines came up and now are on the plane. So you've been multiple levels, you just want to make sure to match up your import with that levels of ceilings. So next we have to go through here and make these things surfaces so we can cut them. And then we have to group these surfaces by direction. So you can't cut both ways once, kind of something that threw me through a loop. But once you do that, then we can cut the surfaces into a whole bunch of squares. Are essentially our ceiling tiles. Um, but so then we have the issue of some squares being. So there's all of our surfaces. See a whole bunch of different ones, but as you can see, we kind of have to classify these. So we don't want those weird corner surfaces so we're going to get rid of those and we want to divide two by four 
surfaces into two by two surfaces. So that's what we're doing here is classifying all these surfaces. So then we can apply different rules to get the desired outcome. So yeah, this is the classification. Now we can see those. So those are all of our, I believe four by two surfaces. There's one of them. So now what we want to do is divide the surface, right? So we are going to find the longest edges. So there's our edges that are equal to four foot. So we're going to get those lines and then we're going to use the parameter at point and get the 50, the points halfway through, make a line out of those points. And then just like we divide the surfaces earlier, divide the surface up into two different surfaces. So now we have a whole bunch of tiles that can only be two by two in size. So now this is all about getting the air terminal or diffuser and finding out which surfaces it intersects. So first we want to get the two different levels that it's on to make sure we find whatever ceiling it could possibly hit. When I say two different levels, I mean the level below it and the level above it. And then we want to get those X and Y points of those diffusers. Then we'll sub in the Z points and be able to make this test line that I call it. So now we can use this line to intersect um, those different ceiling grids that we found. So here's the intersections that we found. So now we're left with just those two by two ceiling grids. Now with this, we're able, oh, so first we have to eliminate the diffusers that didn't find a ceiling. So those are those two diffusers in that room that um, didn't have the ceiling type that we're looking for. It didn't have a grid system in it. So let me just show you this real quick to make to show you that the list is shorter now. So this is kind of something whenever you're doing a class problem is you need to go back and make sure that one list is the same that makes sense, you know. So we used to have 16 and I think we have 14. And so now we get the intersection and we get the points and now we can use um, one of the edges to find out the angle and then set that stuff. And there you have it. That's how you get your diffusers to the ceiling grid. So let's try one more time. So it's a little bit of upfront work exporting those views and saving them back in, but well worth it in the long run. So it's one time for good measure. Boom, there we go. Thanks everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, this little guy. So this little guy doesn't hit one of those squares that's actually two by two. So that's why it was having the problem. So a little bit of work to do left in it, but um, for the most parts there, just have to take out those little anomalies.